Okay, here's a tutorial on how to use the Wave Trigger software. So, looking at the first line trigger, 1 to 16, hardware interface, type, we never change, function. It's where you can have normal, next, previous, random, pause, resume, stop, etc. I tend to only use normal, random, and stop. This line, the defaults, I don't know what info invert is, I never use that. Retrigger polymorphic. Retrigger means if it's on, it will restart a sound if it's already playing. I, I always turn that off. Polymorphic means that if the sound is playing and it's okay to play while another sound is hit, you want it on, otherwise turn it off. Now on this side, over here, these are all my file type, or the, the sounds I want to put on. Now, I think about it ahead of time, how I, how I want to do this. If I only have one sound, as in trigger 1, number 6, and number 7, I label them 001, 006, 007. Now say trigger 2, there are 4 or 5 different sounds. I'll label them 0, 0, 0, 020, 0, 021, 0, 022, 023, 0, 024. Same thing with, with trigger 3, trigger 4, trigger 5. What I basically do is just multiply the trigger number times 10 and that's the group that I start with. So let's uh, get started. So for trigger number 1, again I'm going to leave these all as is. I don't want it to re-trigger. And this one says overtime is not enough. Since it's a voice, I probably don't want it to be polymorphic so I turn that off. I just hit add. It gives me this line of, of text in the INI file. Go to trigger two. Now in trigger two, we have five different sounds. I change normal to random. I don't want it to re-trigger. I do want them to be polymorphic because it's just things like a buzzer, a whistle, horn. Change the tracks to 020 to 024. Hit add. Trigger 3. Again, this one's going to be random. I turn off retrigger. I, I turn off polymorphic because it is voices. I don't want them to be overheard. 030 to 036. Add. Same thing's going to be with trigger 4. Random. Turn that off. 040 to 043. Add. Trigger 5. Same exact thing. Turn them off. 050. Oops. Type too fast. 050 to 053. Add. Now trigger six, again it's a single sound. And it's it's crowd gear, so I will leave it being polymorphic. Hit add. Trigger seven. Same type of thing. Uh, it can be polymorphic again. I hit add. I hit save. I save this file, same place that I save all of our sounds. Okay, so now this is my file with all the sounds in the INI file. All I do is I copy all this to the micro SD card, insert that micro SD card into the wave trigger, and you should be good to go.